This week, we mark the anniversaries of 18 unforgettable people's births and deaths, from famous celebrities to brave heroes. Sadly, we lost many of them to cancer. I'm Linnea Crowther with Legacy.com, the website where you can find any obituary or publish one for someone you care about. Movie star Steve McQueen was born this week in 1930. The actor and speed demon they called the King of Cool died at 50 from an incurable cancer. McQueen starred in a generation's worth of film classics, Bullet, The Thomas Crown Affair, The Magnificent Seven, The Great Escape, The Towering Inferno. We remember McQueen today for his fascinating on- and off-screen identity as both a tough guy action star and a rebellious icon of the 60s counterculture. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, was born this week in 1942. She died five years ago at 79 of pancreatic cancer. Franklin's powerful gospel singing earned her a record contract at just 18. By the late 60s, she was dominating the charts with songs like Respect, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, and Chain of Fools. Franklin's success continued in the decades to come. She sang her way to over 100 singles on the Billboard charts, 17 top 10 pop songs, and 20 number one R&B singles. She ended her career as one of the greatest singers of all time. Comedian Louis Anderson would have turned 69 this week. He died from cancer in 2022. We remember Anderson for his dry wit, warm sense of humor, and infectious smile. Actor Norman Fell was born this week in 1924. He died in 1998 of bone marrow cancer. Though he appeared in classic films such as The Graduate and the original Ocean's Eleven, we remember Fell most from the sitcom Three's Company, where he played the hapless landlord, Mr. Roper. Actor, filmmaker, and musician Ozzie Nelson was born this week in 1906. He died at 69 of liver cancer. During his career as a band leader, Nelson married the band's lead singer, Harriet Hilliard. Together, they created The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, which ran for 14 seasons on radio and television. The show also launched the careers of David and Ricky Nelson, who each became stars in their own right. Actress Nancy Walker died 31 years ago this week of lung cancer. She was 69. We remember Walker as Ida on the sitcoms Rhoda and the Mary Tyler Moore Show, and also as Rosie, the character she played in dozens of commercials for Bounty Paper Towels. Singer Johnny Maestro died 13 years ago this week of cancer at the age of 70. Maestro was a member of doo-wop groups The Crests and The Brooklyn Bridge. He is remembered for singing the hit song Sixteen Candles and The Worst That Could Happen. Not all of the notable figures with death anniversaries this week died of cancer. This week also marks several other notable anniversaries of people worth remembering. Singer and songwriter Kenny Rogers died three years ago this week at 81. He was one of the most successful musicians of all time, with over 120 hit singles and over 100 million albums sold. Rogers had his first success in the 50s and 60s with songs like But You Know I Love You and Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. His solo career launched him to worldwide success on the strength of songs like Lucille and The Gambler. We remember Kenny Rogers for his soothing voice and undeniable melodies. William Hanna died 22 years ago this week at age 90, and Joseph Barbera was born this week in 1911. Together, these animators created the animation studio Hanna-Barbera. Their talents led to the creation of the Flintstones, the Jetsons, Scooby-Doo, Yogi Bear, Tom and Jerry, and countless others. We remember them for bringing us entertainment that has delighted generations. NBA Hall of Famer Moses Malone was born 68 years ago this week. Widely considered one of the greatest players of all time, he was a three-time MVP, a 12-time All-Star, and he led his team to the championship in 1983. He died in 2015. 
Game show host and creator Chuck Barris died six years ago this week at 87. We remember Barris as the host of The Gong Show. He was also the creator of the newlywed game and the dating game. Science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke died this week in 2008 at the age of 90. We remember him for his thought-provoking novels like 2001 A Space Odyssey and for proposing the satellite communications network that allows today's mobile devices to function. Guitarist Randy Rhodes died in a plane crash this week in 1982 at the age of 25. Rhodes was the co-founder of the band Quiet Riot before going on to collaborate with Ozzy Osbourne. We remember Rhodes for writing the iconic guitar riff from the song Crazy Train. Musician and inventor Leo Fender died 32 years ago this week at the age of 81. He is best known for his Fender Stratocaster guitar, a design so recognizable it is widely seen as the definitive electric guitar. Fender's designs have been played by musicians such as Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Joe Walsh, Keith Richards, Pete Townsend, Jimmy Page, and countless others. Educator and politician Johann von Holst died five years ago at the age of 107. We honor him for helping to rescue more than 600 Jewish children from being sent to Nazi concentration camps. Actor and comedian Gary Shandling died seven years ago this week at 66. Shandling is remembered for his anxious stand-up comedy and for The Larry Sanders Show, which was nominated for 18 Emmy Awards. Actor Robert Culp died 13 years ago this week at the age of 79. Culp is remembered for his television roles in I Spy and The Greatest American Hero, and for his starring role in the film Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Television producer Paul Henning died 17 years ago this week. We remember him as the mind behind several popular sitcoms. Henning drew on his rural upbringing to create the Beverly Hillbillies and Petticoat Junction. He was also a producer on Green Acres. Every Friday, our channel publishes a news video paying tribute to the most recent celebrities and other figures whose deaths have made headlines. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.